Prince William and Kate Middleton are one of the most talked about couples in the world, especially in recent months with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge falling victim to the dreaded rumour mill. From a reported fallout with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to rumoured feuding with their country neighbours, Kate and Wills have been surrounded by speculation. In fact, the online backlash and bullying against both Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle grew so loud that the royal family had to issue a set of social media guidelines. Considering the past few months therefore, it's hardly surprising that Prince William and Kate Middleton are ramping up their privacy measures especially considering they are trying to raise their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, in as much of a normal way as possible. Kate Middleton and Prince William have erected a 950 feet long hedge around the garden of their Kensington Palace Winnie apartment. But while the laurel hedges have been planted, they are not expected to be a quick fix, taking some time to grow. In fact, the hedges should only grow two feet in the next year. Still. As Prince William and Kate Middleton prepare to be king and queen a long way in the future, their laurel hedges will reach full height. The queen is reportedly livid with Prince William and his wife the Duchess of Cambridge. According to Life and Style magazine, a dispute has sprung up over a conversation about Kate's royal duties. Prince William had called the queen to suggest that his wife, who is pregnant with their third child, scale back her royal duties permanently. Kate wants her public appearances kept to a minimum and he's 100% behind her the source told the publication, adding that the conversation was quite icy. Kate is reportedly more comfortable in her role as a full-time mother to George and Charlotte than as a working royal. The Duchess of Cambridge is currently patron to a number of charities, including the Art Room, National Portrait Gallery, East Anglia's Children's Hospice and Action on Addiction. But according to Life and Style, the nanny one-year-old monarch was livid that the future queen would want to lessen her duties. The queen's own experiences as a mother and working royal could be the reason she disapproves of Kate and Will's decision. She was 25 with two small children, Charles and Anne, when her father died and she ascended to the throne, and went on to have two more children, Andrew and Edward, after she was crowned, regularly leaving them at home with nursery staff while she went on official tours of the Commonwealth. In his 1994 authorized biography, Prince Charles is said to have found his parents emotionally reserved. It was the nursery staff who taught him to play, witnessed his first steps, punished and rewarded him, helped him put his first thoughts into words the biography claimed. This is not the first parenting style clash between the Queen and younger generations of the royal family. She reportedly disagreed with William's mother Diana's decision to take him on tour to Australia and New Zealand when he was nine months old. Diana was said to have found the idea of being apart from William too difficult. In a clip from her 90th birthday celebrations last year the Queen was also seen telling William to get up when the family appeared on the balcony to wave at crowds. He was crouching down to show George the planes doing a flyover. William and Kate have already adopted a more modern attitude to parenting than their parents and grandparents, sending George to a local Montessori nursery in Norfolk and then on to Thomas's in Battersea, where he recently had his first day of school. Have you ever wondered why the Duchess of Cambridge isn't simply called Princess Catherine or Princess Kate, like Princess Diana, seeing as she's married to Prince William? So why doesn't Kate refer to herself as a princess? instead choosing to go by the title the Duchess of Cambridge. When she married Wills in 2011, she was given the title of Duchess of Cambridge, however her lesser known name is Princess William of Wales, as women marrying into the royal family take their husband's name. A bit archaic, we know. Her full title, to be precise, is Her Royal Highness Princess William, Duchess of Cambridge, Countess of Strathern, Baroness Carrick for Goo. But according to CNN royal expert Victoria Arbiter, the Duchess title is more important, hence why she uses it. She told Yahoo Style, while Catherine is absolutely a princess, her correct title is Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge. She wasn't born a blood princess, so she is not a princess in her own right. When she married William, she took on the rank of her husband, a royal prince. However, referring to her as Princess Kate is simply incorrect as Prince William is also a Duke, and that is his more important title, Kate assumed it herself. 